What's up everyone? My name's Mia and welcome to my channel. It is so great having you joining in today. If this is your first time here, welcome to the place where we're going to check out three different houses in order to find some inspiration on how to decorate the inside. I have been feeling extremely inspired, especially since I just finished bike riding on my own island. I am almost done with my island and I'm honestly so excited. All I have to do is finish my house. So if you are like me and you struggle decorating your home, it's empty, well, I hope you find some inspiration from today's creators, follow their social medias as they put out so much other awesome content and show them some love. Let them know how much we appreciate them sharing their awesome creativity with us. Also, today's video is sponsored by CJ. If you are looking to grow your account, get famous or buy some followers, well, CJ's your guy. Also, if you enjoy Animal Crossing crib videos, please hit that subscription button, like this video as I put out new videos every week. So we're starting off our tour on Brooks Island, my good friend from Instagram, AC Stardew, and I am so cold. I did not dress the part for her island, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and get some shelter in the house. Oh, wow. See, just the simplicity of putting any sort of furniture in the middle of the home just draws all that attention here. And you know what? Brooks Island's very cool. So it's actually based off of the show Supernatural and it's all based off of the bunker. So this main room white, <laughs> sorry, main room right here is the bunker. Um, it's the meeting room that they have. So just look how cool it is. I mean, it looks intense too. Oh wow. Well, this looks like a garage. This is super cool. I love how all the cars are parked in here. I'm not sure where in the show this is from. I know she told me, but even just getting inspiration for decorating your own house, just making one of the rooms a garage is such a great idea. Love this. So this room is based off of Dean from the show and looking at the way it's decorated I feel like Dean is someone who has to go fight off some evil maybe especially with the swords above the bed but I just love how her whole house is based off of the TV show so if you're needing inspiration on how to decorate I think finding inspiration from real life or shows is just such a brilliant idea. Oh my gosh, look, you can see the rain from the windows too. So well done though. Oh wow, so I really like that retro carpet and wallpaper on there. So this room looks like a motel and it's based off of the sketchy motels in the wind. Chester stay and I really like the retro vibe so even just getting inspiration turning any of your rooms or entire house into a hotel putting the two beds like this definitely makes me have that hotel vibe I haven't seen a lot that do the two twin beds so that's super cool nice color scheme as well So this is supposed to be the kitchen from the show, but I really like it. I mean, it's really run down looking because of the wallpaper. I just feel like you could base your entire house on this kitchen alone as well. It just has such an eerie vibe to it. Just the whole colors, it feels so dark and gloomy. It matches what's going on with the rain outside. and it. It has a sense of loneliness to it. I don't know, just the way the pie's there and the table with the wallpaper. And the colors look so amazing together. 
but it's something about the flooring with the wallpaper and I don't know if it's the colors of all the items, but it just has such an eerie feel to it. Wow, so this is actually a cool room too if you've got any sort of spooky island. Definitely getting some inspiration here. Get a whole little rundown looking house. Love this. Oh, well, this looks pretty creepy also. Look at the way the chair's in the middle of the room. I feel like I'm about to get interrogated. It's just the simplicity of the spacing of the items. It just sets the perfect mood for what she's trying to capture. So it was so great finding a house based off of a TV show. This was so awesome. Okay, I just needed to get a little bit of relaxation at the pool after that last house being gloomy. It's feeling so great to get some sunshine again. We're now on Maryland's Island or Tropicitch underscore A-C-N-H and I'm so excited to see this house. So Marilyn created her entire island. Um, she built a lot of buildings based off of the NPCs in the game and she incorporated all of that into her house as well. So this is an extension to her island and this is Audie's surf shop which is so colorful and bright. I really like the aqua and the pink. It just gives such a retro feeling. I feel like, I don't know, Malibu, early 90s. Maybe late 80s, but so well done. And then again, she's got the pink and the aqua color, and we're in a cute little donut shop. Look at how well done this is. And Marilyn, sorry, Marilyn also makes a lot of her own codes. So if you're interested in any of the codes you see in this video, please check out her social media account as she shares them all. But I just love the uniqueness of how she made buildings based off of all of the characters in the game. And then she just has an extension going on in her home and you can just get it all in this one place. definitely if you're getting stuck just have each room be its own type of theme which is really cool too so this totally feels like a music room oh my gosh I feel like I'm in a record shop KK's music the lighting the color I love how she uses all of those neon colors and especially a lot of the carpet that I love that I would never think to use because again, I've seen her use this leopard print before and I'm just in love with leopard print. She has such a way of making bright colors just flow so well together with the orange and the yellow and just that dash of pink in here. Oh, look how cute this is. Leaves, plant, and flower shop. I love how earth tone, all the earth tone she's using in here. It's just so pretty. You know what? Now that I'm in this room, I almost feel like I visited Maryland's Island and this is, you know, like the airport when you visit a place or you need souvenirs. And her house has got all of the souvenirs based off of everything going on in her island. So. I feel like I'm going to come pick up some plants, maybe get some famous donuts, get a surfboard. It's an all shop and one stop place. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh, this cafe for Celeste is so nice. I like how she used the astronaut there. It's just done in a way that, you know, I wouldn't normally think of, but it's got like this really pretty space theme to it, but modern feeling. And then with the custom code on top of the floor is always great for dividing up that room.
All right, this is the perfect place to end my shopping spree. Shopping can be so tiring, so coming to Color Bars Tavern, it feels like a dive bar. I definitely feel like I'm on the beach. And I love the way she uses all these patterns that are mismatched, but it just all matches at the same time. It's all the color scheme in here. Like I said, she's got a way of putting these colors together that just flow so nice together. So creative. Such a great idea just having each room be its own individual thing. So I had so much fun here. Thank you so much, Marilyn, for allowing me to tour. So we'll be ending our tour on Lottie's Island, Lottie.Crossing on Instagram, and she created a little rustic town. Look how cute the outside is. I feel like I'm just having, you know, some wine, some cheese. I've got my wine in hand as well. And after saying wine, as we can see, we definitely have a little wine tasting room as soon as we come into her house. And you know what? I love how she has those bookcases turned around. Usually I see climbing walls used a lot backwards in rooms, but using the bookcases is another great idea, especially how flush they are against the wall. It just adds some more depth to the room and some contrast, but such a cute idea with the custom wine codes in the back as well. Oh my gosh, so look at this little laundry room. So maybe this is for the employees that are having the wine shop there. And look how cute with the little socks on the ground. I love the blue and the white. It's all over this room for that color palette. And I say this a million times, but whenever you're stuck, just choose two to three colors and it just really helps throw a room together. Look at that rug as well. That is so cute, this woven one. Oh, what a cute bedroom. I am a huge fan of seeing the bedroom in the small room because sometimes, you know, I love the loft upstairs, but since it's such a big space, having a small room is a lot easier to decorate. Even in real life, I notice I decorate my restroom first before I tackle on the rest of the house. But look at the brown and the white in here with the pops of yellow. This is just such a cozy room. restroom feels fancy. What a cute vanity too. Putting the chair up against this imperial chest. And then the marble bathtub. And there are the climbing walls. I'm a huge fan of climbing walls, especially turned backwards. But this room just with a steamy bathroom, so beautiful. Oh, this is an elegant kitchen. Oh my gosh, so this is such a pretty color palette with the black and the brown and the hints of gray. See, this color palette is almost similar to what Brooke did, but notice how different you can make each room feel. So it is just so cool seeing the different rooms and ideas that are out there because this room makes me think about chocolate and coffee and it has a touch of elegance to it just the choice of items and the mixture of them i definitely like the upstairs as a kitchen with a little miniature living room oh wow this is the most coolest arcade i've ever seen this definitely takes me back, even to some barcades I've been to, but we have got to get a better view of this. This is a wallpaper and floor I 
pretty much never see used, but the lighting of the room with the spotlights up there to give it some purple and the floor lamps and all those neon vibes and look at how cute all of the posters she has. I'm assuming those are all of the villagers she's had. But what a cool game area. You know, this is the perfect place to end today's tour because as soon as I'm done recording, I am going to go play some more Animal Crossing. So after you watch this video, hopefully you're ready to go decorate your house and play some Animal Crossing as well. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much, Lottie, for allowing me to visit as well. Until next time, my friends, goodbye.